I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Thursday June the 1st can't believe it's already June the 1st but uh, aggressive farmer feeders here starting out the week uh, with the urging of their bankers might have been one of the few things that they have that looks like they're gonna make some money but uh, a lot of those farmers when they got done harvesting then they went into the market and bought some feeder cattle those cattle uh, really turned to flip made a big uh, return there and then when they sold those cattle there and then now they've got done with their planting season uh, they're looking hey this might be the only way we're going to turn a profit this year they're diving back in and uh, just with aggressive big prices and just go get them orders uh, not really a, a stop in place on the price there and then it shows in some of the places they've been this week here as we enter the middle of the week and and trade starts to return to normal after the big Memorial Day weekend that kind of extended out because of the things that happened right before the weekend with the board down hard and the cattle on feed report and everything but getting in here on Wednesday finally we're getting some receipts kind of back to normal even though we are running at, at lighter receipts as we move into the summer months but the board uh, on Wednesday Live cattle futures is up good. Uh, most of your contracts was up $1.45 to $1.85. The June spot contracts uh, closed the day on Wednesday at $124.42. So not working with too uh, giant of a basis anymore. And some people think we could get steadier, better, better money for uh, fat cattle this week. Uh, your feeder cattle board August contract was up $265. So that was really good. But uh, I talked to a, a buddy of mine there that uh, buys cattle, and, and he was at Messina, Iowa. And a lot of people uh, have never heard of that sale before. A sale been around for a long, long time. Not a high volume market, but in a part of the country where there's a lot of farmer feeder orders. And whenever they get the cattle in there, uh, they draw a pretty good crowd. And, and then this particular sale they had on Wednesday had less than 500 head of feeders. And he named off to me at least a half dozen or more top order buyers. Not, not just some guys in there picking around, but I mean top order buyers for either some big uh, farmer feeder feeding groups uh, or, or some big commercial feeders as well. But uh, Messina, Iowa, there are some quotes he gave me. 90 head of steers weighed right at 1,000 pounds, 997 pounds at 141.30. Uh, a couple of loads of heifers there one load 61 head weighed 806 at 144 and a quarter another load of heifers weighed uh, there were 77 of them weighed 714 at 150 dollars even okc west had a big sale uh, for their feeder yearlings there had a light run on the calf sale on the tuesday but on wednesday had around 8900 head of feeder cattle Feeder steers, as you look at the Beef Market Central market report, went right along with what the market reporters called it. Feeder steers, three to six dollars higher. Also quoted feeder heifers, steady to two dollars higher. Dodge City, Kansas had around 1,500 head there at uh, Dodge City. You see the report there from Beef Market Central. Uh, government market reporters called feeder steers one to nine dollars higher, and you can see why. Had feeder heifers firm to four dollars high higher your real-time index set at 147.23 late Wednesday up 342 compared to Tuesday's close but you were running with such small receipts and now on Wednesday you got a, a nice big run of receipts that added to that seven day moving average also one thing that helped it uh, be so high and see such gains is your weight it, it runs on seven to nine hundred pounders and that weight had been up way up into the 800 pounders and it backed off nine pounds to 819 pounds a couple individual quotes el reno oklahoma 75 sears at 130 in the afternoon weighed 820 at 153 big price there dodge city kansas at 1230 just after lunch there at 57 steers weighed 780 at 157.50 that's your feeder flash for thursday